All right, today we're gonna do our own trigger job on a Marlin 925. Um, first thing you wanna do is disassemble your rifle by separating the receiver from the stock. Um, make sure you safety check it. Shouldn't have to say that, but you never know. All right, we're gonna do the easiest, cheapest way, and you can't really mess it up. First thing we're gonna do is remove the trigger assembly from the stock. You can see this tiny spring in here. Um, it's not under tension. When you remove this screw, it's gonna fall. So just make sure you catch that and you don't have to worry. If you're uncomfortable doing this, make sure you take a bunch of pictures. But once you see what we do, you'll be surprised. Here's that tiny spring. I want to make sure we keep a hold on that. Now here's what your trigger assembly looks like. And actually it functions fairly easy. Um, it's your safety. Since safety won't let trigger work. Turn the safety off. It'll move. Um, as you can see, the stock trigger is very hard to pull. If you hold down the sear, it doesn't want to... You know, you gotta put some effort behind it. It's about seven pounds. For today's video, we're only removing this bottom C clip. If you do remove this top one to adjust the sear or polish the sear, um, be wary, it's under tension. This is actually a spring right here. Um, make sure you hold your thumb over this when you move it, remove it, because it will go fine. This one's not under any tension. It's very simple to remove. Use a small screwdriver or C-clip pliers. I couldn't find my pliers, so I'm just using a screwdriver. We're gonna pop that out, set it aside. Now, especially with the stock trigger spring in here, when you pull this pin out, you wanna kinda of hold on to the trigger so it doesn't go flying. Remove the pin, and then just ease on the trigger. Once you take the tension off, you know, it slides right out. Now here we have the stock spring. As you can see, very hard to compress, very, very heavy. Now here we have my spring. Very easy to compress, soft spring. This is out of a pen. You get yourself an assortment of clicket pens. Um, take the springs out. You want to find one that's not really long, that's not too stiff you don't want it to be very flexible otherwise it'll bend like that instead of compressing so you don't want one that'll bend easy you want one that's kind of rigid um, we're slowly going to cut it down till you get the tension you need and that trick I just showed you is an easy way to test it you saw how hard that was well now I've already got my spring cut down um, I've already shot with this spring in it a few hundred rounds I'm comfortable with it the stock spring was back in just for the video. So we're going to set this in place. I'm going to grab our trigger and as you can see the spring sets down in that groove. So you can't really mess that up. On our trigger you're going to notice it's got a notch right here. We're going to make sure that that notch goes inside the spring and then we're just going to line up the hole again so we can get our pin back in place make sure you go from the same side it came out and I'll show you why it actually this pins a stock for the trigger the safety trigger safety as you can see you can't push the pin in all the way can't even get that clip back on so what we're going to have to do is actually got to move the safety and now that it's in we can put that C clip back on. So I'm going to put our C clip back on. As you check your spring, as I said with the stock trigger, you can hold this down and just pull your trigger. And as you can see on mine, there really is no trigger pull. So when you're adjusting your spring, you want to kind of keep it a little heavy because once you put it in, in the rifle and set your bolt it is a little heavier um, than what it is 
I know that doesn't make much sense, but leave it a little heavier than what you want. Um, if you go too light, the bolt won't reset. It won't catch the sear because um, the sear, as you can see, has got more play in it now that I loosened up the spring. There are ways to fix that with um, by shimming your top spring. The first spring we took out, you can shim that. Um, so basically that's all there is to it. After that, we just put it back together, which is fairly simple. We just slide that in place. If you get it close, it makes it easier to put the spring in. If off camera, you'll understand when you go to put yours back together, it's easier to almost set the assembly in place to put that top spring in. And all we do is we tighten her up. When you do this, you want to make sure it seats and it's inside the grooves. It's not cross-threaded. And we kind of tighten it. Not super tight. You do want it a little tight. Um, and then we can test it without worrying about putting everything back together. All you got to do is put your bolt back in. And then as you can see, I have a very light trigger pull. I'm guessing around maybe a pound, pound and a half. Very light. So if you have any questions, just leave a comment and I'll get back to you as long as I know the answer. Thanks for watching and I hope this video helps and enjoy shooting.